Engine oil is the lifeblood of your vehicle. It ensures minimum wear on engine components and maximum engine performance. Understanding how to change your engine oil is an essential skill of DIY car maintenance. Your vehicle's owner manual will help you determine when to change your vehicle's engine oil. If you drive short distances regularly, tow heavy loads or compete in track days, you'll need to change your engine oil more frequently. To change your vehicle's engine oil, you'll need a jack and axle stands or a ramp to elevate your vehicle, as well as a set of wheel chocks. Spanner or socket ratchet, torque wrench, suitably sized drain pan, protective gloves, funnel, oil filter wrench, rags, and of course, your new engine oil and a new filter. Now, make sure you refer to your owner's manual for the correct quantity and type of engine oil for your vehicle. Before you start, make sure you're wearing gloves. Prolonged contact with engine oil has been known to cause skin cancer. Park your vehicle on a level surface. Make sure the handbrake is on, the car is in gear or in park, and the wheels are chocked. The last thing we want is the car moving when we're under it. Using the jack and axle stands, or a ramp, elevate the car to a comfortable height. Start the vehicle and allow the engine to reach normal operating temperature. Warm oil will drain more easily and will help to drain any built up sludge and grime. Switch off the vehicle and allow the engine to rest slightly before draining the air oil. Engine oil becomes extremely hot and could cause serious burns. Loosen filter cap to allow for easy drainage. Located under the car, near the bottom rear end of the engine sump or oil pan, is the oil drain plug. Place the drain pan underneath to catch the oil. Use a spanner or socket to loosen the oil drain plug. When the plug is loose, remove it carefully by hand and make sure you're not underneath the plug when the oil is released. Most oil drain plugs also use a washer, so make sure you don't lose it. If the drain plug or washer is damaged, it's best to replace it. Once the old engine oil has been drained, replace the oil drain plug and tighten it firmly. Take care to seat the washer correctly. Next up is the oil filter. Using a suitable filter wrench, loosen the oil filter, then remove by hand. The filter may be filled with oil, so ease it carefully away from the engine to prevent spillage and tip the contents into the drain pan. Some oil filters are attached horizontally and will drip oil when removed. This is normal, so make sure you have your rags at the ready to mop up. Wipe in and around the oil filter mounting surface to remove any old oil. The new filter can now be fitted. Wipe some fresh oil over the seal to prevent it sticking. Carefully screw the new filter into place and hand tighten. Now this is usually enough to secure the filter, but check the fitting instructions just to be sure. Using a medium sized funnel and some rags to collect spills, Pour the new engine oil in slowly. Stop periodically to allow the oil to settle and to check the oil level using the dipstick. And when you've added the correct quantity, the dipstick may indicate a slight overfill. The oil level will drop once the oil has circulated. Replace the oil cap and wipe away any spilled oil. Run the engine for one minute to circulate the new oil. Check that the dashboard oil warning light is off. If the warning light remains on, switch off the engine immediately and check the oil level. Check the engine and filter for oil leaks, lower the vehicle and then take a final oil level reading. Make a note of the date and your vehicle's odometer to keep track for your next oil change. Use a sealed container and ask local authorities how to dispose of the old engine oil. Never dump used oil in the ground, down a drain or in the rubbish bin. It is extremely toxic and causes serious environmental damage. With this new knowledge, you'll be able to easily service your vehicle's engine oil and keep your engine going strong for years to come. Thanks for watching, and remember, we're here to help.